Hello there, peoples of the internet, once again to another video by me. So yes, this is a uh, video that I actually shot um, with the help of my engineering teacher a couple weeks ago. And if you guys remember, a couple weeks ago, I basically had like no videos and no progress in the game up for like, I don't know, like two weeks or something. It was just a big gap of nothingness. That's because I was working on this engineering project, which you're about to see being tested right now. Um, yeah, so it's basically the project is a bridge and the bridge has to be built entirely out of pasta and you can use like glue to connect them, but nothing else. Like no metal, no wood, literally just reconstituted wheat matter. So yeah, America, where even our bridges are made out of food. Anyway, yeah, enjoy the show. Um, yeah, there's nothing really much more to say. Oh, um, also, sorry that it's in vertical. It was shot from a phone. Sorry it's in vertical. Um, yeah, engineering class, and we don't even get that right. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, yeah. Enjoy it. Go ahead. Hello there, peoples of the internet. This is kind of the reason why I haven't been posting stuff lately, and it is my engineering project, which is to build a two-foot-long bridge out of pasta, like reconstituted wheat matter. Um, yeah, so this is supposed to hold, like, lots and lots of bricks. So let's do that. I've already kind of tested it before, and it held around 64 pounds, but that may not be the case, and because of my own hubris, I want to test it again and see if it can go beyond that, because it didn't really break the last time. So we're going to kind of just push it till we hear it cracking a lot, and then I cry because I worked like way too long on it, and it's exploded <laughs> into a million pieces. So yeah. Three bricks. One second, Chris. Four bricks. Five bricks. That is a bell. These will go later. But first, 41 pounds. Uh, okay, so um, as you saw there in the previous clip, uh, the bridge ends up holding around five, or it ends up holding five bricks, and then it kind of abruptly cuts out. That's kind of because my phone ended up running spa out of space at that moment, but um, we ended up switching to a different phone, recording the entire thing, so don't worry. The upcoming footage is of the final test in its entirety. Um, and yeah, so the thing ended up holding five, uh, five bricks, which is around 20 to 30 pounds. And that's the, that's the assignment. Um, that's the requirement is to hold that amount. Um, but um, obviously people tried to go further than that. Um, it being able to hold um, 64 pounds, as I said it did in the previous test, that's how much it held. Um, that put it in, it in the top group of uh, bridges, but it wasn't anywhere close to like the very top. Um, so I wanted to see how far it could go because um, it obviously hadn't cracked at all. So, you know, um, yeah. So the stuff you're about to see is the final test in its entirety. Um, so stay tuned for that. Hello there, peoples of the internet. Once again, and you probably will see a bit of the last video that we shot. But basically it was this thing with all of this stuff on it, which is around 71 pounds. Um, those, that wood pieces, those wood pieces over there. We're going to try to shoot for a bit more than that. So let's do that. Watch it break on the first break. Okay, it didn't do that, which is good. Actually, hold on, I should probably not do this one. There's an order to it. I screw the order. Anarchy. So we're probably gonna hear some cracks, but that's just it settling. Forty-one pounds. Please don't break on my feet. Yeah, so that's just it settling in there, and watch it just explode now. Um, so yeah, that's where we were before with like two extra pounds. Stay. Cool. Also cool. Stay. Stay. Two pounds. A little over. Let's do it like this. It's going to just shatter into a million pieces, just like my heart. <laughs> Stay. 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 Uh -oh. Stay. Cool. One pound. This is going to be it. This is going to just shatter it. Make me cry a lot in my bedroom. 
Okay, so that did that. Let's try the box. I'm going to take this off. And this stuff. And this stuff and this stuff. And put this thing on it. And then put more stuff back into it. So, the wood pieces. Oh boy. Please be balanced. And don't fall over. Try that out. Cool. This thing. And this. Whoa. Stay. Ooh, I'm hearing it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Because I feel like that's just the tubing, so. I'm trying to see if I can see it bending anywhere. Maybe a little bit at Balance the bottom. Balance it. Balance it. Oh, oh, I would take it off. I hear a little bit of something. Start. Watch, watch your feet, watch your feet. Yep, take it. <laughs> okay. Someone want to help me with the 41 thing? Cool. Whoa. I got it. Awesome. Ooh. Oh, I just broke your pen. <laughs> okay, well, as you guys saw, the bridge ended up holding um, a ton of weight, actually. It ended up holding, I know it doesn't show in the video, but it ended up holding 85.5 pounds in total, which is a lot. But um, then we went ahead and actually calculated the ratio of how much it could, how much of its own, how many times its own weight it could carry. And that ratio for this bridge is 62.25 to 1. So it can carry around 62.25 times its own weight, which makes it actually the best bridge in the class. The actual assignment was just to surpass the 20 to 1 ratio. Um, so yeah, I guess we could say we did that. Um, I think my bridge could carry like three or four times my dog's weight, which is pretty cool. Like four, four little puppies could sit on that thing. That's pretty, pretty fun. Um, you did hear it cracking at the end, but it didn't actually break. I actually, what that was, and I've got the bridge right here to show off. This is the bridge. It didn't break. Ho hopefully that all fits in the frame. Um, <laughs> Um, so this bridge, um, it ended up cracking and what that was was the tubing started actually getting compressed because of how much weight was actually on it. Um, so the way it works is the, these um, corner pieces, these uh, they're called cords of the bridge are actually, I designed them kind of like the, um, the cables in the George Washington Bridge are designed, uh, the bridge in New York if you guys know it. Um, but basically it's a suspension bridge that, um, this is a truss bridge, but it's a suspension bridge that has these big sort of cables and they've got like, they're basically cylindrical and they got these like shells basically. And then inside of them, there's like interwoven pieces of metal. So in this case, it's pasta, but there's pasta in there all throughout this thing, which makes it actually pretty sturdy. Um, so yeah, this thing held a ton of weight and it actually became the number one bridge in the class, which is pretty neat. Um, so that's, yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyway, um, at this point, I'm just going to give a brief update to the game. I know it's not really the video for it, but you know, why not? As, as I might as well since I'm here. So um, the first cycle of the development cycle, the first week rather of the development cycle that I've been mentioning has finally started. So if you guys are new to the project, um, please feel free to go through all my other content. I put up a ton of videos um, detailing the game that I'm making with a cool group of, of devs. Um, but basically we're making an RPG, A Peasant's Tale, for all of you that already kind of know the project, which would be most of you probably. Um, I don't need to go into too much more detail about that, you guys already know. So the development cycle. So the dev cycle is basically the first week I'll be actually creating new features. So um, for example, I may not do it this week, but I'm, I was sort of throwing around the idea. I may start crafting. So the first week would be dedicated to creating a new feature. So in that case, in this example, crafting. So I would create the crafting system. And then in the second week, I would move over to actually adding content to that feature. For example, adding new crafting recipes and stuff. And at the end of the two weeks, um, an update would come up with all the new content for you guys to play through. So that's how it's going to work. This first week has started. I've got a couple things that I want to do before I start crafting, um, start the crafting update, but maybe I'll get to that this week. That would be pretty cool. Um, aside from that, uh, I'm going to get content basically out um, for, I think, tomorrow as well. Actually, I'll probably have a video out tomorrow and the day after. I'm going to start up those uh, time lapses that I've been teasing about for so long. Um, so the first few are probably going to be pixel art time lapses. I've gotten a new Wacom board, which might as well show off this bad boy. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, this thing is, oh God, oh, wonderful. Um, yeah, so it's a pretty cool little piece of technology. 
and it's really easy to make pixel art with it, or really any art. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the, well, that's what I have been doing, and that's what I'm going to continue be, be, well, words. That's what I'm going to continue doing um, for the foreseeable future, is just practicing on my pixel art skills, because um, I guess I'm the only artist now on our team. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, have a good one, guys. I'll see you, I guess, tomorrow. Goodbye!